we have just done a parameter sweep where we changed R2 value from 0 to 10 kilo ohms. Let's okay, yeah. now analyze how the operating point moves from active region to saturation or to cutoff or vice versa depending on R2. Okay, very nice. What is this? Because we see for this resistance at a certain point, somewhere a little above three kilo ohms, maybe 3.5 kilo ohms, up to that point, this output voltage collector emitter voltage remains constant. It means this voltage is 10 volt, remains constant at 10 volts. So the switch is open. The switch is open. That means the transistor is at cut off. And it makes sense because the resistance here is very low. So most of the current flows through these and base has almost negligible or insufficient current going through that. So whenever the resistance becomes higher than 3.5-ish, then the voltage collector emitter voltage starts to decrease. So it decreases. So this is the active region. And at one point, it again gets constant, but almost zero value. What is that? The transistor is now off. So we are basically seeing the switching of the transistor. The transistor switches here from off to on, and this part is, is active region. So this is the effect of R2. We can also see the effect of R1 as well. But one thing, notice that this current, we started from zero for a reason. This current is not zero. I can, we can see it. So left axis, let's make it one. And let's make it five to look it better. So now you can see, you can use the grid line. So this is 0 0.2 collector emitter voltage. What does that mean? This is saturation voltage. In our course, we are considering VCE sat 0 0.2 volts. So this is 0 0.2 volts. When you push it harder into saturation, so that drops a little bit from 0 0.2, but 0 0.2 is pretty much a good guess, good consideration. So this is in saturation, the transistor is in saturation. Okay. Now, what about uh, the effect of R3? We can also see the effect of R3 as well. For example, let's close this. Go back to simulation. And our input parameter here, change it to R3. Starts from zero. Stop value, let's say 10 kilo ohms with an increment of 10 ohms. And this is linear, this is DC operating point, must check it. Everything looks good here, output voltage. We will look for V3, which is collector emitter voltage. So they look good here and then run.
Okay. One thing interesting, this starts from active region. So remember we had a discussion in class that what will happen if this RC becomes zero, the transistor still remains in active region. So for zero RC, or in this case R3, the transistor remains in active region. And then the transistor goes to saturation. As you can see, IC drops, so it goes to saturation. Same story, the current is not zero. And the limit here is about 2.2K. So anything after 2.2K, bigger than, higher than 2.2K, the resistor would bring this transistor into saturation. So this is a good way to analyze a transistor from two different points using the probes, voltage and current probes, and using this um, analysis, like DC sweep or parameter sweep, we can do that. Thanks for watching.